I am Louis Leterrier, the director of FastX. Welcome to Fast Breaks, where we're going to break down some of our greatest action set pieces. I think I'm a filmmaker thanks to bonus features. I mean, to be a fly on the wall, to understand how we do the tenth movie of this quarter of a century franchise, but also keep it real, keep it practical. That's incredible to witness because it's real, but it's like magic. It's mechanical magic. Now, let's go to the ancestral city of Rome, where our movie begins. It starts with an idea. It would be great if we played soccer with cars and a giant ball. When we roll a one-ton bomb down the streets of Rome, it's a one-ton metal bomb that we roll. Everything is done for real. Planning it out is what actually takes a long time. We need to know exactly what we're doing. Welcome to the Spanish Steps, in the heart of the city. This is the first time the team has traveled to Rome, and this is also our first giant set piece. Now, let's take a deeper look into the making of this sequence. So when this shot starts, the ball is coming through this railing right here. Bang! So the bomb has been released and unleashed by Dante. What the bomb is, is a subnautical bomb. So basically a mine with a ticking clock. And Dante on his motorcycle tries to detonate the bomb. <laughs> you're not allowed to do this. <laughs> you, you're not allowed to bring down a one-ton bomb and a two-ton car down the Spanish steps. So what we did was we recreated the steps in London. And then we comp the bomb that we roll down in London and the car that we roll down in London into that scene. There's no destroying the Spanish steps. Sorry. Dom. You've done everything you could. Not everything. Every action scene is a three-act structure with a beginning, a middle, and an end. Ball comes off, boom, 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 and he sees them going away. There has to be stakes, there has to be a low point for our heroes. You know, they win or they don't. Narrow escapes are a trademark for the heroes of the Fast series. Dom will finally be able to knock the bomb into the river, detonating it underwater and saving the city from destruction. Yet he's still within the blast zone and he will have to outrun this immense shockwave. shockwave is gigantic. And what we did, actually we did this for real, we had six police cars on jumpers. And we detonate them one at a time. So you saw the shockwave and car after car after car after car was jumping, including dumps that lifted literally on the bumper and then fell and then kept going. A hey, regular day for Dumb Toretto. <laughs> Frankly, with these types of set pieces that are so big, you do one take. You put as many cameras as you can, but you plan a year, and then when I call action, it's very scary, because it better work. <laughs> what would a fast movie be without a race? Filming it in Rio just felt right. Racers, start your engines. So the beauty of directing one of these movies is you get to take the elements that you love the most and then bring them into your movie. And I love the street racing. That was my first note, let's bring it back, but let's bring really a quarter mile. But it's a race that Dom only accepts to save the people from a bloodbath because guns are drawn. Ooh, 
Let's race! What really makes Dominic Toretto a hero? Well, he will never hesitate to put his life on the line to save an innocent life, especially if it's a fellow racer. In this moment, he will sacrifice the race in order to dislodge the bomb from underneath Isabel's car. Three, two, one! Dante has these magnetic discs that he can throw and attach to vehicles. He can trigger them whenever he wants. And Dom realizes, because he's seen it in Rome, that stopping Dante won't stop the bomb. He has to disarm the bomb. Diogo activates the NOS first, off he goes, and Dante blows him up. Dom sees the bomb under Isabel's car. So he drives up, he's gonna push her car into the DJ car, therefore scraping the undercarriage of her car and then ripping the bomb away. The bomb explodes, knocking the car into a barrel roll. You have to surround yourself with the best crew, the best stuntmen, the best drivers. You do something that has never been shot before and capture it on film. You know, the beauty and sadness of Fast and Furious is we get to play with a lot of amazing cars, but we get to destroy them too. <laughs> Just imagine being this little boy and you play with your toys and then suddenly says, all right, now what you just did, you're going to do it for everyone around the world and then you'll just film your, film your dreams. And that's exactly what I did. So as you can tell, I've got the greatest job in the world. Thank you for joining me today. And before I go, here's my favorite thing to say on set. Cue the explosion. <laughs>